purifier operation involves the three-phase separation of oil, water and sludge. Purifiers have a discharge outlet allowing the continuous discharge of separated water. Prior to passing oil through the purifier, sealing water must be provided to ensure that oil does not flow out to the separated water outlet. The separation boundary surface must be set in a reasonable range to ensure proper operation. This is achieved by changing the internal diameter of the gravity disk. Oil enters into the oil inlet and is introduced into the disk via the distributor. The separated water and sludge are forced to the periphery of the bowl. The purified oil moves inside between the disks and is discharged from the light liquid impeller. The separated water passing outside of the top disk overflows from the gravity disk and is discharged from the heavy liquid impeller. Sludge and separated water are then discharged from the outlet to complete the cycle. Let's have a close look at the purification process. When the bowl reaches the rated speed, the centrifugal force that acts upon the pilot valve seals the valve seat and the valve closure water pressure chamber becomes filled with valve closure operating water. The operating water in the valve closure water pressure chamber pushes up the main cylinder using pressure generated by centrifugal force to close the discharge hole. Displacement water is supplied from the dirty oil inlet. Valve opening operating water is supplied to fill the valve opening water pressure chamber. The generated pressure opens the pilot valve seat to discharge the valve opening operating water. At the same time, the main cylinder is pushed down to open the discharge hole and discharge the displacement water. Valve closure operating water is supplied again to close the discharge hole. Sealing water is supplied. Fuel oil is supplied and centrifugal force separates sludge, water and oil. Displacement water is supplied. When valve opening operating water is supplied and the valve closure operating water flows out, the force pushing up the main cylinder is dissipated and the main cylinder is pushed down by the fluid pressure inside the bowl. This opens the seal of the valve packing, discharging sludge outside the bowl immediately. When sludge discharge is complete, valve closure operating water is supplied to the valve closure water pressure chamber. As the chamber becomes filled with valve closure operating water, the main cylinder is pushed up to close the valve packing. The purification process starts again and the cycle is repeated thereafter. The bowl of the purifier turns at high speed to generate considerable centrifugal force. Thus any mistakes in handling can be very dangerous. Always follow the instruction manual when operating, disassembling, reassembling as well as maintaining and checking the purifier.